Good teamwork. welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emily and this is my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom today I want to get a couple things done uh, I got peeled a bunch more pomegranates than I did since our last video so just kind of dumping these remains here and then we're gonna do some yard work and I'm hoping hoping that I get some good like time-lapse video of the process <laughs> But while I'm here, let me show you my pumpkin. I am like very close to just deciding to like finally harvest it, but it is nice and big. I have like man hands. It's a good sized pumpkin. I really want to be able to like make some yummy pumpkin bread or something with it. And then that way, like I can say like, I grew this from a seed and made the bread from that. So, and I'm doing the yard work because I'm really gross today. I will be having an outfit change showering at some point in this video. Let me actually check. There was, there's another little pumpkin here. I don't think it will survive, but I don't know. They, they always pop up and then nothing happens. I've only got that one, but I only really prayed for one, like I've mentioned before. So I can't really complain. And then I don't know if you guys saw my last, one of my other videos where I used the little bud of or like the little butt of the romaine lettuce and I put it in water and it started to sprout and grow so I planted it over here and there's like a lot of new growth these leaves kind of look lame but there's new growth so I don't know maybe like each of these stalks will be a romaine lettuce that they would harvest or something I really don't know but anyways let's go ahead and do this yard work. I'm already like really exhausted today. I'm not exactly sure why. So hopefully I can make it through the day without like collapsing. <laughs> Okay, so it figures that in an effort not to show you my behind this whole time, I like slammed this wooden thing on my finger on the cement, kind of crushing my finger. I don't think anything's broken it, except for a little bit of my skin, but whew, it hurts. So I'm gonna start sifting through the dirt and try to find some rocks for decoration while I rest my finger oh well i'm, I'm almost done cold? with this one hole. yeah it's cold i put some ice in it thanks <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna ice this because it's pretty painful right now um and then i got almost one done so How about in the shade? May, uh yeah in the shade would be a good idea yeah so i never melt so i got you know i got almost one done so um <laughs> Just, just one more to go with my finger. Okay, so I got most of the dirt kind of raked out, some good dirt in that bucket for later. We got some like cement pieces that I'll have to get rid of at, the, at some point. And we're gonna give a couple more digs a try before starting our second little hole over in that corner. And hopefully this time I won't totally break my finger. <laughs>
Okay, I think this will be good because really I want the top of the plant to be sitting closer to like level with the cement. There's like not as much dirt over here as there needs to be. So if it's like that, there's a lot of space. We can kind of loosen it up later. So that I think will be good. So my camera died, but I think that I am done. Uh, I got the width of this one definitely dug out, but the depth probably could be like an inch or two smaller. But I'm just so exhausted. So I'm gonna just leave this for a little bit later. It won't take that much time to like dig out or strength and we'll have other adults here to help me out if I um, can't do it or whatever. But I'm gonna just sweep up the sidewalk and then I'm gonna go inside and just shower before I need to get Jack up from his nap. I am now nice and clean, and we are gonna go ahead and make some apple bread. I've made this recipe before on my channel, so I'll link that recipe video up above. But I have some like apples that are just a little soft to the touch in some places, but that'll be fine for the apple bread. So we're gonna use those up, and I'm actually gonna pre-measure all of the ingredients so that Aubrey can help me, and like we can talk about measuring spoons and whatever, but I know that if she over scoops or under scoops, like I still have the exact amount that I need. So I'm gonna do that now while she's busy, and then we're gonna get in her, get her in here and start baking. So I got my little helper here. She's gonna help me make apple bread. No. Yes. Apple muffins, right? You said you wanted muffins instead? Yeah. Okay. So we have extra apples, thank goodness. Okay, so we have flour, cinnamon, baking soda, salt, baking powder, eggs, sugar, oil, vanilla, and diced apples. I do like this recipe because it doesn't require butter and I'm all out, so it's perfect. So the first thing we're gonna do is mix the dry ingredients, flour, cinnamon, baking soda, salt, and baking powder. So Aubrey, will you help me with that? All right, so we wanna- This reminds me of joy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so in, the, in this bowl, we wanna pour the cinnamon. Can you help pour that in there? Be nice and careful and make sure it all goes in the bowl. Perfect. I can do the rest? Yeah. Aww. What is next? Let's see. Then we have to do the salt. Perfect. And the baking soda and baking powder. Did you put them in the same bowl? I did, because I didn't have another small bowl. Now, do you think you could mix that up for me? With a straw or maybe with one of these things. That'll oh. be cool. Can you mix that up? And then this is going to be when we make a dough. Okay. Nice and slow because we don't want anything to fly out. That'll make a mess. And we don't want that. Why are we mixing a dry ingredients? Dry ingredients? Well, we want to make sure that it's nicely mixed before we mix them in with the wet ingredients. Oops. <laughs> I tried to mix the wet. Well, it's in the corner. That's okay. This is clean. We can just put it back in the bowl. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Good job. Can I do one mix? Yeah. I'm just gonna go around the sides, down at the bottom. This makes sure that everything gets nice and mixed together. It's so fluffy. It is fluffy. It's so cinnamon. It smells like cinnamon. Mm. So in this big bowl, we're gonna put the eggs, the sugar, and the oil and mix it all together. I uh, know, with the beaters. We're going to beat it up. And then with the so, I'll mix up with my chai yummy yummy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the eggs. Oh, yummy apple. Oh, they're going to go in the bread. If you eat them all, we can't have them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the egg in the bowl, and you're going to pour the egg in the big bowl. <gasps> oh, can you hold my hands and help me with this? Hold my hands. Pull the eggshell open. Oh, you do a button me. All right, well, we got two more. Can you pour that in there? Uh, are there any shells? First we look. Are there any shells? That um, white thing, I think. No, that's actually part of the, the egg. All right, you can pour that in. There's no shells. We're good to go. Whoa. <laughs> good job. Boy, that. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Can you help me hold my hands? No, you just want to pour it. Okay. Pour it in. The yolk cracked. I'm sorry. That's okay, we're gonna mix it up anyways. Okay, can you, we need to pour one more egg in and then I'll give you one apple. Pour, pour that one egg in and then you can have it, one apple. Then we have to save the rest for the actual bread, sweetie. Okay. Pour the egg in. And then we also have to pour the sugar in. Um, um, Gotta pour the sugar. In now? Yep, in with the eggies. Yeah, you kind of missed. That's okay. And we need to pour the oil in with the eggies. Be careful of this one. We want everything to go in the bowl. I don't want to. You don't want to pour this one? I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Whoa. Alrighty. Now we have to blend this up. So we're going to use our hand mixer. And we and our mouth mixer. Our mouth mixer? What's a mouth mixer? Excuse me. It's when we hold a hand with our mouth all by ourselves. That's silly. All right, do you think you can press that button down? You can let go. And can you help me hold the hand mixer? And we want to make everything mix nice and together. Is this a dough? Yeah, this is going to be the batter for the bread. Okay, while this is mixing, we want to add in the vanilla. Hold it with your hands. Whoa. We want all the drips to go in. My apple. And look, oh, the vanilla is going to get mixed in. This gives it good flavor. Nope, because now we need to mix the dry ingredients and I will never with ever the wet mix ones. It with my tool. Yeah, the straw may not be the best mixing tool. If it's going to take a while, I'm never going to make this dough. It will take a while. It'll take a while, but oh. you could go get a spoon because we need to scoop this into the wet ingredients. Are you going to need a big spoon? Yeah. Oh, good one. Whichever one you think will work best. Oh, good job. Can I do it? Yeah. And be very careful because we don't want it to go outside the bowl. We want it to be inside. That's a bowl. You can make me drop it again. <laughs> good job. That's tickle. Oh, it's tickling your toe. <laughs> yeah. Good job. I dropped one. Oh, no. Careful. 
You can do a rest. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we need more of the flour, the dry ingredients in here. We need more in here. Okay, there's a good one. Now that's enough. And a drop from the table. That's okay. Do you need some? Yeah, we need some more. <laughs> more than okay. that. Good job. And you know what I'd like you to do? I'd like you to put like two big scoops in this bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want to coat the apples with some flour so that they don't all sink to the bottom. It'll help them stay in the middle of the bread too. Wait, I need a bowl for me to eat them. Take out. Okay, you just get a couple. Okay. All right, now put one big scoop in this bowl. And do one more scoop. All right, and now what I'd like you to do hey. is with this spoon, I want you to mix up the apples so that they all get coated with flour, okay? okay. And I'm gonna mix up the rest of this. All right, so this batter is very thick. All right, so I coated these, or we coated these apples with some of the flour mixture just to kind of help them stay suspended in the dough or in the bread. And we're just gonna add all of this and mix it so it's like just well incorporated. getting a more sturdy spatula just so I can really scrape this down. Then we are gonna preheat the oven at 350 Fahrenheit. And um, while that's preheating, we're gonna scoop these out into little muffin tins. Can I have one apple, apple, apple? Oh, can I have a bite? I'll let you lick the, uh, the beaters. That's what my mommy did when I was little. Here. some mini muffins too? That would be fun. Let's do some mini muffins. I do have a mini muffin tray that I've yet to use. Ta-da! Is it for just mini muffins? Mm-hmm. No, big muffins? Well, we're gonna do some big ones too. Will you help me? Look, this is like a Christmas style. And we're just gonna put it right in there. Here's some for you to help. Hold on, this one has two. Ready? <laughs> Like magic. Huh, we have some extra. And Bubby's awake. Perfect timing. These ones it's harder because I'm trying to get like at least one apple. <laughs> but I didn't dice them up like super, super tiny. So we'll see how this one works out. Having the mini muffins though is really nice like at holiday parties because people, there's usually a lot of different treats, and so it's nice to like get the taste, but not feel like you're just stuck eating an entire muffin. I didn't even spray those, ay ay ay. All right, well, we'll see how those turn out because I totally forgot to spray them with baking spray. Oh, we can make, you know what I need? What? Sprinkle ones. But they need the sprinkles on top when it all red is on top. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna spray these ones so that they don't stick. So let's see, we'll do like one. Those are too little. Two scoops, maybe. Those are too little. Two scoops per muffin. Two. You need those big ones, like a big, big is your head. No, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some yummy sprinkles. Do you wanna try those ones? Mm -hmm. Those are best. I know you like them all colorful. Ooh. Because then you can see what kind they are. Mm -hmm. 
They might, they might melt in the oven. So this bread does kind of remind me, like it gives off like a cakey feel and I am tempted someday to like just make this as a cake and maybe do like a caramel buttercream or something like that. And, and I think that would actually be pretty good. <laughs> so we'll see if I ever do that in the future. What is Bubby doing? <laughs> He's making himself laugh in there. That's funny. Do you never want to be alone? You can be alone. You know, you play alone sometimes in your room. <laughs> Just like can Bubby can play alone in his room. <laughs> We're not going to leave him in there. <laughs> but if he's happy, <laughs> I'm not going to stop him from being happy. <laughs> but the oven is ready. <laughs> All right. Ready? Good teamwork. As I was looking in this direction, I saw this little letter. This is my first piece of fan mail that was sent to uh, our P.O. box. Now it's from my sister-in-law, but I think it still counts. So I'd like to formally thank Kelly for sending me this very sweet letter. Uh, it really means a lot and it like totally brightened my day, so thank you. So anyways, uh, the other two trays are baking and I'm gonna go get Jack while she finishes up with her sprinkle decorations. <laughs> mm. It's yummy. Okay, so these mini muffins were in for about 12-ish minutes, 13 minutes, and um, then my little thermometer fell on these. So they smushed them, but they do look like they should, so I'm excited to give these a try. I anticipate that these little muffins will take about 20 minutes total in the oven. So even though I didn't spray these, still turned out okay. Not like big chunks taken off. Very, very yummy bread. So it's been a while since I checked in. Uh, my parents have arrived. My mom has planted the two gardenia plants in the holes that I dug earlier. Thankfully, I didn't lose my finger and it can still bend. So there's still a little bit of pain, but I'm, I'm thinking it'll be okay. Um, my parents have tried the muffins and they were like, oh my gosh, this is so good. My mom's like, what's this recipe? And I'm like, it's your recipe. So I did something right. I think, it, you know, it, just in general, things taste better when you don't have to make them. And since she's usually the one who bakes the bread, that might be why she liked it better when I made it. So anyways, that was a success. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video and supporting my channel. I'm going to go inside and just spend some quality time with my parents while they're visiting. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys are new, I'd love for you to again, stick around and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.